You know how like, let's say somebody's like running yeah. for a while, that's what it smells like, like pre-sweat. My name is Kayleen. Hi, my name is Jaden. Hi, my name is Kelby. My name is Joyce, and today we will be trying each other's mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes for Friendsgiving. I love mashed potatoes. Whatever type of potato, I'ma eat it. So Friendsgiving, I feel like just became a thing maybe like a couple years ago. Friends mm. usually can't cook. They be trying their hardest. It's always mac and cheese. Some good chicken. A lot of liquor. Ham, vegan ham. And mashed potatoes for sure. And some kind of pie, store-bought usually. What makes my mashed potatoes the best is that I cooked it with love. Something special I like to do with my mashed potatoes is make sure they're hard stopping. I put a ton of butter in it. I think I'm gonna win today because they're just gonna feel that love flowing through the plate. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> um. <laughs> you know, God makes us all equal in our own ways. Why is this one little piece? Why, why do you do that? Baby, I can smell a lot of butter. They put milk and butter in it. They're giving a little yellow, which is not bad. That makes me feel like there might be cheese in it. It's giving last minute energy, but let's see. Okay. <laughs> it's not the worst thing. Dang. Taste average. We were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I think that this potatoes reminds me of like a little small violin where you're like, you, 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 do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm tasting is butter, milk, and salt. The texture is not bad. It's giving mashed potatoes in texture. It's just the taste and the aftertaste is what's. Can you hand me my water? There's nothing else in here but butter. <laughs> I think Kelby made this one because Kelby's a man. I'm gonna say, maybe Joyce. Joyce, I would hope, as my Haitian sister, she did not cook this. I think that a man made this. And men are unimaginative. I'm gonna say Kelby. I'm gonna give it a five for effort. Scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give it a five. I'll give this a five out of 10. They should have added seasoning. It needs love. <laughs> yeah, the list goes on. Okay, well, this is my first time ever making mashed potatoes, so I would say that there's something that makes my mashed potatoes the best. You know, A for effort, I don't know. I put whipped milk in it, a lot of butter, a good amount of seasoning. I meant to put cheese, but I forgot. You boil them in like some kind of broth. I use vegetable broth. I don't know if I'm with. I'm gonna be real with y'all. <laughs> I'm just here for the mashed potatoes. Ooh, see this. This is what I'm talking about. So I'm looking at uh, skin flecks of the potato. I've never seen it made like that before, but you know, that's fine. This one has color, thank God. Do you see a woman's touch? I love the, the parsley. We love to do that. We, we're like, oh, let's make it look fancy. Add a little parsley. Damn, that's good. Yeah. Mm hmm Yum. It's pretty good. It gives you that, you know? This is a buttered mashed potato. Creamy, delicious. These are so good. Oh. As a person who's not the craziest about mashed potatoes just by itself, this fulfills my fantasies. I like that. I do wish it had a little bit more salt. It is giving heavy butter. It tastes like a hug. I don't even want to talk anymore. I'm just going to eat it. Oh, no. I might lose y'all. I think a little bit more milk to keep it just the amount of creaminess, but the texture's really good. I'm gonna say this one is for Jaden. I tried her struggle meal and it also was very well seasoned. I think Jaden made this. Like, I just feel like Jaden is someone who always has a pretty presentation. I wanna say this is Jaden's. It tastes rich. And she made mac and cheese in our last video, and that was thick. I give this a seven and a half. A solid seven, no, an eight. Damn. I wanna win, but I'm gonna give this like a, a nine. My mashed potatoes was made with love, and that's the special ingredient. Also, truffle oil, bacon, cheese, and I use oat milk for creaminess. 
with a light butter souffle on top. It's very bougie. I tried to make this smooth, but my blender broke because I was having trouble cooking it, but. I like a chunky mashed potato because I'm a chunky bitch. You feel me? Wow. That looks terrible. What? <laughs> it smells good. I don't know what it is, though. I really want to pull out an insurance claim before I eat this. I smell cheese. There's bacon. I know that smell. It's truffle. It looks like there's runny eggs on this side. It looks like there's labui on this side. The presentation looks like someone literally was pissed at me, took their mash and slammed it on the plate and said, F you. Oh my God, these are really good. Um. <laughs> this potato is still on the vine. It's still on the tree. These are so good. It's mush with chunks of potato that aren't cooked. This is so bad. The bacon's in there. The bacon's good. If anything, I think the bacon has saved it just a little bit. Damn, these are good. For real. This person should have bought it. The target is not that far away. Whatever they did, don't do that. And just do it the normal way. Boil, mash. It's cheesy. The texture is really good. It smells really good. Who made this? I don't even want to say. It's like gunk. I'm going to say Kelby made this way. I think that Joyce made this. Joyce is a wild card, and this is a very wild card plate. They did what they had to do. I'm going to give this a 9.5. I'm going to give it a 6.7. I would not eat this at a Friendsgiving. This is not something you bring your friends. So my mashed potatoes are the best. The way that I season. I season from top to bottom. The seasoning was not too much. I didn't want to make it too rich because I'm very health conscious. I don't want you to have a heart attack when you eat my potatoes. I used two different types of milks. So I did start with almond, but then I realized it wasn't giving what it needed to give. I did put a little 2% in there, just a little bit. The special thing that I did with mine, and my mom taught me this, put hot butter. And then you add garlic as well. And then you have to put warm milk. Mine, I added gravy because I feel like you can't just eat mashed potatoes by itself. I think my mom has always taught me, you gotta put your foot in it. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay would be very proud of this one. Oh my gosh, just a little pool. This is pretty. The plating is nice. These are mashed potatoes you get at the family cookout or like on Thanksgiving for real. When I see this mashed potatoes, I know that this person has a high booty and is high class. It makes me feel like I'm in a hotel restaurant. The specks of pepper, the little hint of chives. And I like how they keep the skin. I love when people keep the skin in mashed potatoes. Smells like though it's missing butter. That's the only thing I would say. Yeah. That's a black woman right there. Hold on, let me get the gravy. That puts the whole thing together. Mmm. Ugh, I'm angry. It's giving like, yeah, this is like mushroom gravy. This tastes like blackness, pro-black. This is very well made. Somebody's aunt made this, and you know she had them church arms. You know the church arms. I should've bought gravy for mine. It's so savory, so thick. Dang, it tastes like a meal. This was made by Kayleen. Something about this just gives me a pump. This is very much Kayleen. I think Kayleen made this. You did what you had to do, Kayleen. I guess. The thing with this mashed potato, it's not heavily cheesy, buttery, or creamy, but it's heavily savory. With the gravy, this is an eight. Without the gravy, this is a six. I'm gonna give this a nine. I'm gonna give this a eight out of 10. It smells like coming home after the strip club. <laughs> Was it ever not gonna be me? Like, come on. I think I did okay for my little first time. The one that won deserved it. At the end of the day, I'm a baddie with a fatty. Who really loses? I wanna thank my mom. Anytime I call, she there. <laughs>